Hello everyone, it's me, Sanjay Vasu, back again for another video. This time, I'm going to be going over the Cambridge Primary Checkpoint for Science Paper 1, October 2023. Let's start. Question 1. Look at the food web from a wetland habitat. A. Write on one food chain from this food web that includes the minnow. So the minnow is over here. And we need one food chain including it. So we start from the producer, which is the grass. Now, if you want to get to the minnow, we need to go to the shrimp and then to the minnow. And then we can end it off with either otter or gull. It's your choice which one you want to take. So I will be writing grass with an arrow to shrimp and with an arrow to minnow with an arrow to otter. You can replace otter with gull. Both are correct answers. B. Write down the name of one carnivore from this food web. A carnivore is something which eats another animal, right? An animal which eats other animals. So, we can take that very same minnow from a previous example because it eats a shrimp, right? So, shrimp is an animal, of course, and minnow eats shrimp. So, minnow is a carnivore. Of course, there are many other answers to this. Few examples being otter, gull, crab, terrapin. These four animals are other carnivorous animals in this food web. So you can write these either. C. Write down the name of one living thing in this food web that gains energy from the terrapin. This one only has one answer. So the terrapin gives its energy to the gull, and there's the only one which gains energy from a terrapin. The answer is gull. This is because the gull eats the terrapin and therefore energy is transferred towards the gull. Now I can go to question 2. Baking soda is a white solid. Vinegar is the colorless solution. Chen adds baking soda to vinegar. The mixture fizzes and bubbles and colorless solution is made. The temperature of the mixture goes down. Two of the substances made are carbon dioxide and water. A. Chen concludes a chemical reaction has taken place. Write down two observations that could support this conclusion. Firstly, we need to write two observations. And observations mean something which we can sense using our sensory organs, which is eyes, nose, mouth, ears, and skin. So here, we can see using our eyes that the mixture fizzes and bubbles, right? So this is one observation that supports that a chemical reaction has taken place. The mixture fizzes and bubbles. And then the second one is that we can feel or we can even record it using a thermometer that the temperature of the mixture goes down. This is something that happens to the surroundings due to the reaction. In other words, the mixture gives out energy. So the temperature... of the mixture goes down. This is the answer. B. Write down the names of the reactants in this reaction. Well, we can see that the reactants are vinegar and baking soda. Since Chen adds baking soda to vinegar and because of that, the reaction starts. So the answer, you have to write both vinegar and baking soda. C. Which product is a colorless liquid? Of course, it's water. So you have two products formed here, carbon dioxide and water. Carbon dioxide is a gas, colorless gas. Water is the colorless liquid. That's the answer. Now you can go to question 3. Safia investigates how light is reflected from two mirrors. She draws a diagram to show the result of her investigation. Look at the diagram showing a ray of light and two mirrors. A. The ray of light is reflected when it touches the bottom mirror. Describe what happens when a ray of light is reflected. So when a ray of light is reflected, of course we can see that every time it touches the mirror, it changes direction, changes direction, changes direction, until it goes out of the mirror and does not hear another one. So the simplest explanation is that it changes direction 
B. Complete the sentences to show the number of reflections from each mirror. The top mirror has dash reflections. So we can see that the top mirror reflects one, two times. So you can write two. And now the bottom mirror has one, two, three times is being reflected. That's the answer. C. Safia wants to increase the total number of reflections. Describe what Safia does to increase the total number of reflections. There are a few things that you can do. First of all, you can make the angle steeper. So if the angle is steeper, then the reflected ray will also be reflected steeper. And there will be more reflections, something like this. Right? We can see that there will be 4 on the top, 5 on the bottom. And that is definitely more than 2 on top, 3 on the bottom. But the much simpler explanation is to extend the top mirror so that it reflects the last ray of light. Then, it will be reflected downwards. And this one extra reflection is an increase. So this is the much easier one to say, and the most intuitive one. The top mirror can be extended. That's the answer. Question 4. Hassan collects information about different igneous rocks. A. Which igneous rocks have crystal sizes larger than 8 mm and are grey in colour? So it has to be larger than 8 mm crystal size. So that is A, B and C. The rest either have a small size or no crystals. And they have to be grey in colour. So we have two. A and C. B has crystals black in colour so it does not count. The answer is A and C. B. Igneous rocks are formed from molten rock. The molten rock that cools the slowest has the biggest crystals. Complete the sentences. The igneous rock that cools the slowest is dash. So which one has the biggest crystals? This can show which rock cools the slowest, right? So the biggest crystals are formed in rock C. So rock C cools the slowest. And the igneous rock E has no crystals, as you can see in the table. Because of what? Well, we can see in the statement that if molten rock cools slowly, it has the biggest crystals. So we can take the opposite. If it cools fastest, obviously it's going to have either extremely small or no crystals, right? So this is basically the exact opposite of what we are saying in the original statement. And therefore, we can say the igneous rock E has no crystals because it cooled extremely fast. Cooled extremely fast. That's the answer. Let's go to question 5. Ahmed investigates the growth of a fungus called yeast. Ahmed puts the same mass of yeast into two bottles A and B. Puts 50 centimeter cubed of water into bottle A and 50 centimeter cube of acid into bottle B after putting the same mass of sugar in each bottle and then he puts a balloon over the top of each bottle and measures the circumference of each balloon every 15 minutes. The diagram shows his investigation after 60 minutes. A. The circumference is the distance around the outside of the balloon. Ahmed uses a piece of string and a ruler to measure the circumference of the balloon. Describe how I may use the string and ruler to measure the circumference. Well, if you think about it, this actually makes a lot of sense. We have the string and we just wrap that around the balloon. And we cut it at its circumference where it completes a full circle. And then we just straighten out the string and measure the length. That would be the circumference. So the first point is going to be wrap the string. around the balloon the second one is going to be cut the string where it makes a full circle around the balloon and the third one is going to be Straighten the string around 
and measure its length which is the circumference with a ruler and this length is going to be the circumference that's the answer part b ahmed records his result in the table ahmed has made two mistakes in his results table why are the two mistakes ahmed has made all right the first mistake is quite obvious we can see that in the time column there is no unit labeled anywhere the unit is supposed to be labeled in the heading no matter where it is so the time column is missing the unit in the heading which is minutes and now the second one is actually a similar mistake in the circumference but then it's also the exact opposite he has written circumference of balloon in centimeters and then he has also written centimeters everywhere here technically you're only supposed to write the unit in the heading you're not allowed to write it in the actual values so the second one is that the unit centimeters has to only be there but only be present in the heading and not near the values in the body in this case body of the table all right which is basically where you keep the values now going to part c Acid is a defense mechanism in the human body. Which organ in the human body uses acid as a defense mechanism? Circle the correct answer. Well, the answer is stomach, the far right. This is because the stomach may have certain pathogenous particles, or in other words, particles which can contain diseases in the food, right? For example, expired ones. And this acid, stomach acid, not only helps to digest the good food, it also helps to eliminate the, for example, expired food or the disease particles. It helps to break them down and remove them from the stomach. That's the answer.